All right, were you able to see the Aurora Borealis last night or the Northern Lights? We had a G4 geomagnetic storm, meaning they were visible with the naked eye for most locations, even areas with a lot of light noise, even as far south as areas in Florida and the Northern Bahamas were able to see the auroras. So for us here in New England, it was a gorgeous sight to see, similar to May 2024. How does this work? Well, first, the sun emits a CME or coronal mass ejection, and the one that was emitted was a strong one that we saw emitted. Then that interacts with our magnetosphere and those ions ride to the poles and make it into our atmosphere through the poles where we don't have a magnetic field quite like what we were seeing facing the sun. So the holes in the magnetic field let in those ions and then they interact with the oxygen and the nitrogen of our atmosphere and that's what creates these gorgeous colors as you're looking outside. So overnight tonight we're going to see that potential there not quite as great grand as what we saw yesterday. Yesterday's last night's was a severe uh K8 as far as the geomagnetic scale goes and tonight is going to be closer to a six. So you might be able to see a little glow of pink colors out there tonight. But last night we were able to see even green pillars, which is pretty rare. So as far as the lowest altitude auroras, blue and purple colors, we're not going to be able to see that and we were not able to see that. But oxygen at the low altitude brings in this green color and that means they were right overhead when we got to see those green colors and then the pink glow is a little bit higher up in the atmosphere and it becomes a little bit more widespread as far as those sites are for you to view.